Just found two of these in the box. I didn't even know they were in there. Brand new and sealed. They haven't been opened or anything. Sensitive eyes, beware. Warning, warning. Uh, obviously won't show anything graphic. <laughs> It's a Scorcher. Welcome back to the channel Tatsters. If you're new here, my name's George. The channel's Retro Reselling and I basically buy and sell stuff from auctions, boot sales, charity shops, wherever I can get them from. Buy them cheap, sell them online for a profit on eBay, Amazon, Depop, wherever I can. It's all about making that profit. That's my business. That's how I keep a roof over my head. So last week I said this is my new favourite, the Saturday morning boot sale. So hoping for good things again. It's a nice full field I can see as I drove in. Also trying to ask the question of getting a few pounds off here and there. It all adds up over the year, I guess. So yeah, that's my challenge going forward. Keep asking that question. Will you take this, get the money off and yeah, keep that going. So it won't linger around any longer. You're on the GoPro, you're attached to my backpack. Come see what I pick up, what I put back down, what I miss out. Let me know in the comments below. Uh, yeah, see you in there. Look, look at what you've done to that. Uh, do you know what? Then we'll get the wolf broke to fix it. Something else. How much are your football boots? £30 I have, mate. Okay. And Gregor and the Crofty Fine. How much is that one? Okay. Would you do five? Six. Um, yeah, okay then. There you go. Lovely. Thank you. How much on the juice? £3. Would you do £2? No. Sorry. No. Yeah, you'd do £2. Mm. It's free. Thank you. Right, cut. I'll take them. Both of them? Vintage, yeah. That's fine. Do you like yeah, the bag? Vintage. Yeah, I was going to say they're a bit vintage, aren't they? Thank you. Oh, cool. right. Yeah, they won't shock you over one. <laughs> That's right, the car's just there. Oh. Just giving up on me. Okay.
Well, then, fans of the pineapple bag, it is over. I had two, I'm now down to none. It's gone. Handle's come off, this one's gone. Sorry pineapple fans. Unless I can replace them, that's the pineapple bag, it's gone. Vintage. Got a suitable replacement now. Little tote bag. That'll do. I used to play in football in Market Street. Yeah, yeah. In Market yeah, Road in yeah, yeah. Cali Road. Yeah, oh, yeah. And so it was behind the Lord Nelson, the new, uh, the new football stadium. That's right. The amount of times I've gone past it, I would have known it was no, there. And you wouldn't recognise where the old ground is either. Yeah, on the right. yeah, on the right. Yeah. Yeah. And then uh, it used to be on the left. So even then it was tucked away a little bit. You're right, yeah. How much is yeah, your printer? Your printer, thirty pounds. And that one. So we we'll stack a two quid. Two. Okay. How much is your print, please? How much is what? Sorry. Print. The printer, Scott. thirty pounds. Thirty. Thirty. Would you do twenty on it? The printer. I'll do twenty-five on it. Twenty-five. Do twenty-five for that as well. There's a cheaper one. Twenty-five for both of them. You're pushing it now, aren't you? Um, <laughs> no, because you, you said two quid for the stackers. 27, go on, then you've got a deal. There is uh -huh. a cheaper one, printer. Next to it. Oh, it's, it's a Wi Fi, yeah, it's Wi Fi. Like yeah, one. yeah, that one. Yeah. I'll yeah. do them too. Go on. That's fine. you got to try. Yeah, come <laughs> on. I'll do the same. <laughs> yeah. right. Lovely, thank you. You're Cheers. They go on individually. Yes. Yeah. Quite cool. Eight, eight. So from the 80s or something, is it? Like um, quite vintagey type? Yeah, uh, yeah, it would be quite the 80s. How about that, yeah. It's nice. Yeah, they go on individually, they do. What's your best on that? Would you do like eight? Yeah, yeah, yeah I'll yeah. do eight, yep, there you go. I've got the right money, yeah. <laughs> oh, plenty of change. Eight. It's, they're they're, um, they're screwing yeah. bolts. Yeah. yeah, that's fine, yeah, I've got plenty at home, that's all right. Yeah, they're, they're, they're still all right at the bolts work. Well. Okay, yeah, lovely, <laughs> thank work. you. All right, then. Thanks, bye. How much is the camera? Kind of just down there. How much want to give me for it? Oh gosh. All there, all the bits and pieces. I'll give you, give you under two. <laughs> about 99. There's a battery charger. Yeah, it's all in there. Uh, 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 15? Oh, what makes it? Uh, good question. JVC. Yeah, good mate. 18 in the middle. 25. Yeah, 18. Done. I'll tell you what, 18 pounds plus 10 pounds for the case. There you go. Thank you. All Appreciate right, that. Thank you. Oh, it's still here. Yeah, it's still here. Uh, would you do 15 now? We won't. We won't. We won't Not budge at all. on this. Uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah. They really won't budge on it. <laughs> they were both his because we had the, we had another one. Yeah. They were both his. <laughs> That's fine. I'll take it. It's fine. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Even Oops. my stereo got sale. <laughs> oh, nice. <laughs> Everything's on phone now and things. I know. Don't I know. need it. There you go. Right, right, thank you. Enjoy. Here we do. Rest in peace, pineapple bag. It's in bits. Look at that. And that was my last one. And I can't seem to find any online. A moment's silence for the pineapple bag. That'll do. 
yeah really good again it was quite slow i thought it was a bit naff uh, than average but yeah looking at it all now i've done really well again so it might keep its title as my favorite brutes out in the moment the saturday one yeah some really cool items again big hitters standard sales and some <laughs> something a bit different and so a bit of a fail but i'll show you that in a minute let's spin the camera around now and show you what i did get yeah again a nice full table's worth uh coming off here with the lamp in fact we'll start with the lamp this was the last thing i picked up uh, it's like a nice vintage late 80s early 90s uh, they couldn't quite remember when they got it from uh got it for eight pounds uh, it's just a double headed like spotlight i've sold these loads of times before like especially when i first started out and i was just doing purely vintage retro furniture eight pounds this should be a nice 40 to 50 pound sale i haven't had this sort of design before sort of the brass effect with the black looks quite nice yeah i should say yeah 50 pounds which gets us off to a good start Pick one of these up on Wednesday and I've got another one, but this one's unboxed. Uh, it's another bit of chin on. I think that's how you say that, chin on 2000 GL projector. Uh, just as it is, no box or anything. Uh, the other one's box, it's got wires and stuff. But again, these belts can go, because obviously it needs a belt, like a pulley system that makes this go around. So if I plug it in and it's not spinning, I have got spare belts, so that's an easy fix. Um, only cost me five pounds. Uh, if I can get it all up and working fine, that's a nice sort of 40 to 50 pound sale again really nice thing we've sort of got a theme going on 40 to 50 pounds because we've got another 40 to 50 pound sale here or when it does sell a uh, jvc compact vhs uh, camcorder with the bag it's got all the bits and bobs like battery charger and everything was it got to make sure this one is working uh, had to pay up a little bit uh, 18 pounds but 18 into yeah hopefully 40 to 50 the compact vhs isn't as desirable uh, sort of i like the video a or mini dv type um tapes and discs and stuff still worth good money a nice complete set with the bag which will help it sell and if it even if it's not working should still get my money back 20 pound for parts spares repairs and there's some extra bits like the charger i can sell separately as well so my money is safe in this lot speed stacks nicely boxed i bought this with this printer i'll come to that in the end but yeah Got them together, so this owes me £2, which is a nice bargain price. Again, I've sold this loads before in the past and present. But the last time I had one was maybe the start of the year, or maybe the end of last year. It's basically like you stack it up as fast as you can, put it back down. It's got a timer and a mat and everything. Yeah, nice thing. Uh, it should get 25 pushing 30 You've seen me pick a few of these up now. I haven't had this brand before. I did briefly look it up because I wasn't sure. But this is Safe Race DL. Uh, brand new with the tags which is what attracted me to it i think it's a swedish um company because uh, whenever i found it online it was all in swedish this language here so yeah i'm guessing they got it from there and never used it which is handy good size a medium looks like a medium men's or medium women i'm not really sure maybe unisex brand new with tags uh horse racing like body protector in case you fall off the horse not if you get kicked like i said previously fall off the horse protects your back and your rib cage uh yeah brand new tags probably again same with these 40 to 50 or maybe we'll be safe at like 30 35 40 really like picking these up at the moment coming down here oh not too far <laughs> we'll get to them at the end we've got this nice pure evoke one radio i bought this with this keyboard it was five pound each paid five pound uh pure is a good name in radio make good quality things and dab uh, not worth as much as it used to be dab because it's sort of the standard thing in radios now but this nice little unit obviously clean it up make sure it's tested and working uh it should be going for sort of 30 to 35 maybe 40. probably more of the 30 35 there's a few marks and that slight yellowing to the front yeah nice little machine and nice little profit to be made had this before uh three pound fifty i paid it's a sony like a free view type player uh, i don't think it records but i've got the remote i've had this before with a tv that i had they just chucked it in and i remember selling it for like 20 25 pound so yeah at three pound fifty i recognized it happy to get 20 25 pound from three pound fifty for a nice little free view box nothing special just pays the bills Another familiar face, Tots TV kickers. They're not actually called Tots TV. I always say Tots TV. I'm hoping people know what I'm on about. If you recognise these guys, that's Tots TV. I don't know if the American or Australian audience that watch this channel know who they are. But it's just a cartoon or like puppet show from the 90s and they sort of had shoes that looked like this. Nice pair. I think it was three or four pounds. Yeah, I think it's three pounds I paid for these. Sort of a nice sort of brogue design, which is unusual. I haven't seen that before. 
nice tan brown picked a similar pair up on wednesday but they needed a lot of work uh, which i haven't started yet so i can't show you uh, but yeah nice size i think they're size eight larger women's smaller men's nice brogue design three pounds into hopefully 30 35 pounds and at minimum 25 pounds got this microsoft keyboard this is the one i got with the radio so this was five pounds see keyboards all the time but sometimes you get the select few that are worth good money and this is one of them this is microsoft natural 7000 and it's one like this like curved so i think it's called natural because it's like the natural like positioning of your hand when you're typing um yeah pay five pound because complete and working these can go for 50 pounds 40 pound minimum so sort of yeah 40 to 60 pounds pushing it but the only thing and a thing i forgot about is it needs a usb sort of dongle because it's wireless it needs to connect to a computer or a laptop so i'm missing a dongle but i've just ordered a universal dongle on amazon for like six or seven pound i think it was so all together i mean this for sort of 12 pound and if it's all complete and working that's a 50 pound sale so yeah nice little bolo there to look out for doesn't look anything special it's just a keyboard but when you know what to look for yeah you can find a sleeper that can make you good money La find these nice beak box this is a hitachi 3d subwoofer a bit dusty and grimy i think it's been in their garage for a while it was theirs personally apparently don't know why that made any difference to the price so a bit of a dust up um i'm hoping the tape does work but i'm not too worried if it's not it'll affect the price a bit but yeah and it's mainly just for a cool looking radio people like it it's got the aerial which is handy i had to pay 20 pounds which is paying up they weren't budging from that i did try it i saw it at the beginning and went back right at the end to see if they would sell it for 15 they weren't budging uh i gave in gave them the 20 but if it is all working and good this is a 60 ish pound sale which is nice um obviously a smaller markup than the other bits that i'm getting 50 ish pound for but yeah really nice item will look nice on the store and should sell quickly as well so yeah that's why i bought that one talking of sleepers and bolos things to look out for and things you see all the time printers are another type of thing that you see all the time at boot sales the name mainly like bog standard ones not worth much or they're battered and beaten but sometimes you can get good ones that stick out and they're worth good money if you know what you're looking for and you're willing to take a risk i've got this brother uh it's got wireless printing look really nice brother's a good name anyway I wasn't too sure i'm still learning about sort of printers and that so the little sneaky peek on ebay while i was looking around uh looked up the model number and yeah refurbed obviously i can't refurb it i don't know what i'm doing that much but if i could refurb it people are getting 150 to 180 which is really nice but yeah testing and working which is what i can do make it look good make sure it's working customer confidence print out a page on the listing pictures yeah i should be getting 100 pounds minimum for this one uh, i've paid 25 because i got it with the speed stack so it's 27 uh yeah knocked them down they wanted 30 originally i tried 20 but met in the middle 25 which is fine with me if i'm getting 100 pounds return uh he was confident he wanted he could have showed me it turning on and that but obviously with printers i need to see it printing really Ooh, what's this oh there you go brucey bonus i've got a cartridge oh nice i literally just only just seen it i think i've got another one in here as well uh oh, i've got another one oh yeah i think we've got some spare money here there's two of them I'm not sure what color that is but i'll look that up in a minute oh nice um so yeah before i got my money back here uh, they look like good ones brother in fact let me look them out now quick well sweet mother mary would you adam and eve this um yeah just found two of these in the box i didn't even know they were in there uh brand new and sealed they haven't been opened or anything just the um brother like ink toners or cartridges to go in here and it's all four colors i had a little look on ebay I had a little butchers can you see this 60 pound i thought it was 12 pounds originally but that's for a single yellow color this is for all four both of them and when it's all four there's another 60 pound single single all four 50 pound that's a single color 80 pound 47 wow so from this 25 pound purchase just from these brucey bonuses alone that's a hundred pound right there didn't even know they're in there that's amazing this probably makes up for this little pickup but still uh nice i don't really know what to say that is quite cool 
that's why I love this job. You never know what you'll get. Um, everything surprises you. <laughs> yeah, £25 sale. Instead of being a like £100 sale, it's now turned into 200 100 100 Amazing pickup of the day and of the month, easily, even though we're in August now. So, uh, sensitive eyes, beware, warning, warning. Uh, obviously, it won't show anything graphic, but I picked up two carrier bags full. There's like two shopping bags full of these adult uh, magazines. Paid £5 for the two carrier bags, and yeah, we've got like vintage 80s, 90s uh, lady magazines or men's magazines, whatever, like Escort, 40 plus, more Escort. Some of them a bit worse for wear. Park Lane there. Yeah, <laughs> big and fat, you know, whatever. Real Wives. All the all sorts of things to make you blush on a Saturday morning. But yeah, here there's about maybe 25, 30 magazines. I haven't counted them yet. Five pound, and I know uh, this sort of stuff is actually collectible, uh, especially like vintage stuff like this. So yeah, eighties, nineties. I have to find the dates, but I say it's a fail. Well, it's not in a way because it is a bargain for all these. Um, I'd normally sell these on eBay, list them maybe be individually or buy a title and get like nice little £20 bundles in but as of the 3rd of August I'm transferring to eBay's managed payments which is a problem because one of the new restrictions is adult only items which obviously this falls into so I'm not actually allowed after the 3rd to list this uh, for sale on my eBay account obviously eBay is not the one and only place to sell stuff we need to open our horizons so Instagram maybe, Facebook, YouTube if anyone's interested. I'm sure there's Facebook pages as well of this sort of thing. So yeah, one for me to uh, use my imagination on if I can't sell it on eBay quickly. But £5, pounds, I'm more than safe. Um, I should at least get, even if I have to get rid of it quickly, maybe sell them all for 20 quid, get 20 quid back in my pocket, go out again and buy stuff that I can sell easier <laughs> online. Right, it's safe, you can look again now, <laughs> if you was hiding behind the sofa then on that last pickup. So yeah, as I was driving away, I thought I'd done average, but yeah, once I got on the table, I've actually done really, really well. Uh, and yeah, again, I won't keep banging my head on that. And again, still my favourite sale of the week, Saturday morning, nice and chilled, not having to rush around or anything. Getting quality pickups, Brucey bonuses, quirky items as well. Yeah, what more can I ask really? Weather's looking good. Well, it is definitely going to be good. So Sunday, two sales are on tomorrow. Uh, I should try and film. Uh, so stay tuned to the channel. Subscribe if not already. Hit the like button. Helps me in the video out. Um, yeah, thanks again for the support. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.